Hi, today we want to create with Python uh, a little app like this in which we will draw on the screen and then we can save our screenshot pressing Ctrl and S and if you save multiple times as you draw and then press Ctrl G you will have an animation with the different images that you saved you can also uh, delete what you what you are drawing with Ctrl D Ctrl C sorry and that's pretty all let's see how to do it line by line so first of all let's let's save our our file and let's go um, let's call it draw free C dot pi and we need the pill the pill module from which we will import image to install it you get to go in the command line and do pip install pillow that is a fork of pill and to go in the command line you can go and press the windows button and the R and then go and do CMD and then go and pip install pillow that I think I got it yet unless there is something new okay I have installed it now for my new version of Python because I installed the latest version the 3.8 as you can see here so I didn't have pillow but now I am using for this video I'm using the 3.7 version and we are in uh, October 2019 so after peel we want to import Pygame and to import Pygame of course you need to go and uh, window button RCMD pip install Pygame let me install it for my 3.8 version so you can see it it's and there is some problem because probably there must be something with the compiler or something like this or, or there is mm, it's not compatible for the new version 3.8 we will check this later but if you use uh, the 3.7 version there should be no problem in fact if you go here and you go pi and let me use the 3.7 version here of Python and let me install pi game I got it yet installed so already satisfied as you can see and nothing new I can upgrade my pip and pip you know it is used to install install the modules in Python okay and now I have installed the newer version of pip okay let's go on then you will need glob and the module OS okay these are the modules now let's start with the init pygame that you need to do it to make some initialization of the pygame modules then we are gonna um, pygame display dot set mode and here you define the screen 
with this line of code and we made it uh, 600 for 400 then we are going to pygame dot display dot set caption let me call it trace so we are going to um, see we should see the window now to get the wind of uh, stay, I will use a loop like one and while loop, so while this loop is true, uh, we want to try, let me use try uh, accept and if something goes wrong for event in pygame dot event dot get so this will give me all the things that happens in the on the window if event dot type <coughs> is equal uh, pygame dot quit that is a variable set in python that means you quit the window and you will need this to make it close in the right way otherwise it will not close you get to force the closing of the window so you make loop false and when the loop is false it will, will go out of this loop and it will go into this line that will quit the window so hopefully it this will work by game that quit what's wrong with it uh, indentation error let me use here the tab sites and the convert indentation to space and see if this is the problem it's not this because where is the problem here of the indentation okay let me see if there is some space or something that is not a space instead of it. I can see where is my... Okay, I forget the exception. Except... Okay, this is exception except uh, exception as e if there is an exception it will print it and then it will quit the program pygame dot quit okay here it is our window and it will close without any problem so this is just to to create our window that is called as you can see trace you can set a different name here so this is this creates the window and this makes the this gives the name to the window okay if I just comment this and run it it will appear and will go away because it will do nothing if I will if I comment this it will appear and will go in a loop you get a force the windows to close it so I recommend you to right pagan that we at the end of the of the code so uh, now let's get back to the to the loop here that makes um, the window to be uh, to stay remain on top so that it doesn't disappear and that it will be correctly closed when you press quit um, we will have to check if you press some 
um, some keys to do something. So uh, because you gotta interact with the with the window. So if event or type, if you are going to press, for example, uh, the the letter. Um, let me see. We want to draw. So. Um, Let me take the um, the position of the mouse here. Pygame.mouse.position um, Pygame.mouse.getPos is the method to get the x and y coordinates. And so, if um, we are if we press the mouse, so if Pygame.mouse. You see, it's very easy to understand because dot mouse dot get pressed pressed right and is equal to one zero zero that means if you press the the left button if you press the left button this is what it means this pi game dot uh, draw pi game will draw an ellipse so a circle on the screen that is this one on the screen of course and what is the color that it will print um, a white color so this is the red green and blue yeah red green yes and blue and where it will draw it in the coordinate where the the mouse is px px and how big will be the um, the the circle will be 10 10 for 10 it will be inscripted in a rectangle that has a diameter of 10 and 10 and okay so if it get pressed you uh, you will draw that is what this means yeah, let me see if it works. That doesn't work. Invalid syntax. And uh, let me see what what went wrong here. This should be a tuple. Okay. Pygame dot mouse dot uh, mouse dot get pause. And it. Maybe there is something wrong. Yeah. I must. This must go here. Okay. We cannot see anything because we probably. Must do something like pygame dot display dot update. We get a update the screen. Pygame dot display it's dot update. It's almost comprehensible here. It's quite explicit. Okay, here it is. So now we're drawing. And that's the first part. Mm, we are going to to see how to add other functions like the leading, saving, etc. Putting the clock. Um, well, the clock we can put it now. Uh, the clock is what we pi game dot time dot clock will allow you to put a frame rate to this um, to this code so clock dot display dot uh, we need to put the tick uh, so let me say 120 this is the frame rate what happens what happens if I do 
1000. There are a little less, you see, it's more continuous. Uh, if I so, if I put 13, for example. It's easier to see a well let's leave it at sixty frame for seconds. Okay. You see if I go a little faster. I think that we cannot go at 6000 though. Uh, let me put it at 100. I'll stay. I'll stay with this. And we just can draw and not delete, not don't do anything except this. But for now we will leave it this way. In the next post we will see how to add new features. Thank you.